And this eating kitten conversation is a long one because the government and the Ghana Football Association appear to have had some disagreements about two weeks ago. And since then, the GFA have not appeared anytime they are invited for a meeting because they presented a team to handle the TA e-ticketing. But unfortunately, government rejected their offer, saying that they are moving everything to Ghana.gov platform. But the GFA also insisted they wanted their agency to handle it. And since then, even just, just as two, two, three days ago, there was supposed to be a meeting, the GFA failed or refused to make an appearance for that meeting. Now, let's hear from the Member of Parliament for Talency Constituency, Benson Tongo, who is calling on the Minister of Youth and Sport to ensure that there's a construction of standard preaches across the country for the football development. I would like to urge the Minister for Youth and Sports to think about the developmental aspect of it. The provision of first-class pitches or sports facilities. I know an attempt is being made by the National Youth Authority, but whether they are doing it to meet the international standards is also another thing. So with all these things happening in our country and football being the soul of this country, plus us win and the whole country cycling is up. Morale is very high, and there's peace in this country. We lose, and for days, weeks, and months, we'll continue to comment on the poor performance of the blasters, and people who are genuinely interested in coming to develop sports will be discouraged. I want to appeal to the government that they have a responsibility in the constitution to ensure that sports is developed at all levels of this country.